one of you that is joining us online this afternoon. Tunakaribisha kila mmoja wenu mnaungana nasi online katika ibada. Uh, we are moving on in this message prophetic warfare for your visions breakthrough tunaendelea katika ujumbe huu ambao kichwa chake ni vita vya kiroho kinabii katika upenyo wa maono yako the subject of a prophetic warfare is very wide and very huge ujumbe kuhusu vita vya kiroho kinabii ni mpana sana na mrefu if you begin to deal with each and everything to teach with each and everything that you have got to deal with Ukianza kufunza na kushughulikia kila jambo ambalo lazima ushughulikie it is going to take you a very long time to teach it inaweza kukugarimu muda mrefu sana kufunza and therefore god at times drops specific areas that must be dealt with na kwa hivyo kwa wakati mmoja mungu huachilia eneo maalum ambayo lazima ushughulikie and for us he gave us five areas those of you watching us online na kwetu sisi alitupa alama tano na kwenye ambao mnatazama it is important for you to know that na ni muhimu uelewe hivyo. We covered number 1 tukashughulikia ya kwanza on yokes, kuhusu nira. Number 2 on strongholds. Na jambo ya pili tukashughulikia ngome. Number 3 on uh, embargoes. Na jambo la tatu tukashughulikia viswizi. Today we are dealing with monitoring spirits. Leo tunashughulikia maroho ambayo ni ya kuchunguza. About 21 minutes of sharing. Dakika 21 za kushiriki. On that one kuhusu hiyo. And then we deal with poison in the pot. Alafu tushughulikie nyingine ambayo ni sumu katika nyungu. Another 21 or so minutes. Na hiyo kwa dakika 21 hivi. And we will be ready for a prayer of agreement. Na kisha tutakuwa tayari kwa maombi ya makubaliano. So let's go to fourth area of warfare. Tuingie kwa hatua nne maeneo ya vita that we must deal with for our vision to be established. Ambayo lazima tushughulikie ili maono yetu iweze kudhibitika. And that is the area that we are calling monitoring spirit. Na hiyo ndiyo eneo ambao tunaita maroho yanayochunguza ama kwa ndama. And I'm going to define them. Na nikaelezea and then we are going to read a scripture. Alafu tutasoma maandiko and share the symptoms of somebody under monitoring powers. Alafu tuweze kushiriki kuhusu dalili za mtu ambaye yuko chini ya roho ambaye ana Randa, randa. So number four monitoring spirits. Na kwa jambo la nne roho anayechunguza. These are evil spirits. Haya ni maroho maovu that look into the affairs of your life. Ambao kuchunguza maisha yako and report to a demonic network that wants to steal kill or destroy your destiny na kupeana ripoti katika mtandao wa mapepo ambao wanataka kuiba kuharibu na kuharibu maisha yako listen to me this precious afternoon child nisikize alasiri ya leo wapendwa everything that you are doing kila kitu ambacho unafanya you must invite the lord's protection over it ni lazima walike ulinzi wa mungu kwenyeo you must invite the power of his covenant over it lazima walike nguvu za maagano yake juu yake because you may not be dealing with a yoke kwa sababu huenda ukawa ukabiliani na nira you may not be dealing with a stronghold huenda haukabiliani na ngome you may not be dealing with an embargo huenda ukabiliani na kizuizi but you may be dealing with evil spirits that look into the affairs of your life lakini huenda ikawa unashughulikia nguvu za maroho ya kuwinda ambayo inachunguza maisha yako and when they look at the affairs of your life na wanapotazama maswala ya maisha yako they report to a demonic network wanapeana habari kwa mtandao wa kipepo that wants to steal or kill or destroy your destiny ambao wanataka kuiba kuua ama kutamiza hatima yako and because we agreed and say na kwa sababu tulikubaliana tukasema this is a warfare message ya kwamba huu ni ujumbe wa vita vya kiroho i decree in the name of the lord natangaza kwa jina la yesu any force of evil monitoring your life fuzo ama msukumo wote wa kipepo unawinda maisha yako so that they can bring you down ili aweze kushusha chini may those forces be overpowered in jesus name misukumo hiyo ishindwe kwa jina la yesu i say may those forces be overpowered in jesus name nasema misukumo hiyo ishindwe kwa jina la yesu and you see when there is a monitoring force na unakuta kukiwa na nguvu ambazo zinawinda somebody goes through a lot of warfare mtu hupitia vita vingi vya kiroho a class Classic example is Pastor Samuel 13:18 to 19. Na mfano wa kwanza ni Samueli wa kwanza 19:19. And you begin with verse number 13. Na utaanzia aya yake ya 13. And you see the whole story how it's flowing. Na utaona habari yote vile ambavyo inasemekana. And Mikao took an image 
and laid it to put a cover. Okay, is it that one? Let me check. Oh, that's from verse 13. Verse 11. Right. Let's begin verse 11. So oh, Saul sent messages to David's house to watch him and to kill him in the morning. And because David's wife told him, saying, If you don't save your life tonight, tomorrow you'll be killed. Now let's see that. So Michal let David down through a widow, and he went and fled and escaped. Verse 13. And Michal took an image and laid it in the bed and put a cover of goat's hair on his head and covered it with its clothes. So when Saul sent messages to take David, she said, He is sick. Okay, 15, that's gone. Then Saul sent messengers back to see David saying, bring him up to me in the bed that I may kill him. 16, and when the messengers had come in, there was an image in the bed with a cover of goat's hair for his head. 17, I wanted to follow this closely. Then Saul said to me, Carl, what have you deceived me like this and sent my enemy away so that he has escaped? And Mikor answered Saul, and he said to me, and Mikor answered Saul, he said to me, let me go, why should I kill you? The next verse, so David fled and escaped and went to Samuel at Ramah and told him all that Saul had done to him, and he and Samuel went and stayed in Nioda. Now, let's see back that verse 19 now, finally. And it was told Saul saying, Take note, David is in Nioth, in Ramah. Here you find that David is being hidden from being killed by Saul. And his wife is doing his level best to hide him. Including putting an image on the bed. Just to convince Saul's men. That the man is unwell. But the man has already fled. In the city called Rama. In a village called Nile. And in all the games that Mikol is playing, to hide David, it works and David flees. And he is in a far land. And those fighting monitoring spirits, they find themselves in verse 19. It is told of Saul. Take note. David is in Nioth. In the place called Rama. And this is where most people are. They have done their level best. They have played it well. So that Saul does not locate them. Like the wife of David did. Even by hiding an image in the house. To disguise about David. But it was told so. Take note. Elewa. David is in Nioth in Rama. Those people who are saying, Wale watu wanasema, take note, elewa, so and so started a business. Flani na flani alianza biashara. Take note, elewa, so and so bought a car. Ya kwamba flani alinunua gari. Take note, elewa, so and so's daughter got married. Ya kwamba flani wa flani binti yake aliolewa. Take note, elewa, somebody is doing better. Ya kwamba 
mtu anaendelea vizuri than he was doing the other year kuliko vile alivyokuwa anafanya mwaka uliopita monitoring spirits maroho yanaowinda they thrive on this point wanaendelea katika eneo hili giving information wakipeana habari to those who want to kill or destroy your destiny kwa wale ambao wanataka kuiba ama kuharibu hatima yako and today in the service na leo katika ibada may every monitoring spirit in Jesus name be defeated amen may the lord give you victory in your business amen in your job amen in your marriage amen in your career amen those who are saying take note wale ambao wanasema ujue so and so flani is doing good anaendelea vizuri and who are they telling na wao wanamwambia nani somebody who had sent men to kill you mtu ambaye alikuwa ametuma wanaume wa kuue Saul had already sent men Sauli alikuwa tayari ametuma wanaume to kill David ili waweze kumwangamiza Daudi and he is receiving very important information na anapokea habari muhimu sana that take no ya kwamba ujue this man huyu mtu is in such and such a place yuko mahala fulani if you are going through that kama unapitia jambo kama hilo the symptom number one jambo la kwanza kujua you will have war at the border of your success ni ya kwamba utakuwa na vita katika mipaka yako ya kufaulu seven symptoms hata ishara saba number one, you will have war jambo la kwanza utakuwa na vita at the border of your success pale katika mpaka wa kuingia kufaulu kwako because before you enter kwa sababu kabla ya kuingia Somebody said mtu alisema take no uchue brother nelson dugu nelson is doing well anaendelea vizuri and immediately na mara moja you begin to enter in the war utaanza kuingia katika vita at the border of your success pale katika kilele cha kuingia i declare in the name of jesus natangaza kwa jina la yesu in the war at the border of your success vita vyo vyote katika mpaka wa kuingia if you are I'm saying not at the beginning sio pale mwanzo at the border hapa mpakani you are just about to enter mahali ambapo umekaribia tu kuingia you can see success unaweza kuona kufaulu you can greet the success unaweza salamia kufaulu but because there is somebody saying lakini kwa sababu kuna mtu anasema take no ya kwamba na ujue take no ujue so and so fulani wa fulani is just about to break through yuko karibu kupenyeza you begin to get warfare unaanza kupata vita vya kiroho the relationship breaks uhusiano unavunjika when you are just doing the dowry wakati tu unafanya kulipa mahali the job contract is lost ile kandarasi inapotea before you get it kabla ya kuipata it is what i'm calling war ndio ile ambayo naita vita at the border of success pale mpakani kwa kufaulu never underestimate usiwahi ukahesabu vibaya the people that Wale... give reports to your enemies wale watu ambao wanapeana habari kwa adui zako and i declare in the name of allah na ninatangaza kwa jina la bwana there shall not be a war hakutakuwa na vita at the border of your success pale katika kiingilio cha mpaka can i hear you say amen amen the second symptom ishara ya pili of somebody's live whose information is being given to the enemies ya maisha ya mtu ambaye habari zake zinapeanwa kwa adui is open doors but closed gates ni milango ambayo iko wazi lakini malango makuu yamefungwa eh uh-huh. okay open doors milango wazi but closed gates lakini malango makuu yamefungwa i want to explain what that means nataka kuelezea inamaanisha nini open doors mlango milango wazi i mean you can sense na maanisha unaweza kisia that the tender is ripe and ready ya kwamba ile kandarasi imeiva na iko tayari it doesn't matter how much this door is open to the church haijalishi mlango huu umefunguka wazi kiasi gani kwa kanisa if the gates are locked kama lango kuu limefungwa 
and the walls are fortified you cannot get in and some of you are in that category open doors there but close gates here in the name of Jesus may the gates and the doors both of them be open can I hear us say amen? Amen. I always teach people to receive in the course of the service. I always tell people when you're seated there, you can receive it. If you can sense an open door, or you can see it open, but the gates are locked, we command both of them to open in the name of Jesus. Amen. Both the gate and the door in Jesus mighty name. The third symptom of somebody whose information is being shared to the enemies. And possibly it's your friend sharing it out. You experience aborted promises and deals Oh, in the name of the Lord. Please mark this very well. And I want you as I move on in the word. You continue praying in your heart. And declare no aborted promises, no aborted deals. From today, brethren, we are declaring your deals shall not abort in Jesus' mighty name. Hey, can you say amen? Amen. That is why we always say Facebook is not a place to share what you are doing. It's a place to share a testimony of what has already happened. Can I hear her say amen? Amen. Because when you share what you're doing, today monitoring spirits, they are even in the social media. You see a very nice daughter of destiny. Maridadi wa hatma posting her, bu, uh, her, her boss right on Facebook. Utaona akiwa meweka uja uzito wake vizuri pale kwenye uso wa kitabu. Naked over there. Akiwa uchi pale ya meweka wazi. Showing people somebody scored a goal and a here it is. Akionyesha mtu kwamba mtu walingiza bao na sasa hapa ipo. And I'm ready to give back. Na niko tayari kujifungua. And then you look at her. Alafu na mtazama. Open all the way down. Akiwa mefungua wazi kote hadichini. Sharing how she's going to give back soon. Akisha. And the monitoring spirits take that. I, I, I attended a barrio of a sister we told pull down that photo I know you love yourself from the chest downwards you love yourself and you want to, to show everybody how beautiful you are and the enemy hit her right on the spot. That was the hardest barrier. Complications one after another. Unakuta kuna matatizo hapa baada ya mengine. Complication one after another. Matatizo baada ya mengine. They run to a hospital. Wanakimbia hospitali. The doctors are on strike. Madaktari wamegoma. All of a sudden. Gafla binfu. There is a rupture of one of the veins. Unakuta ya kwamba kuna kuzimia kwa moja mishupa. And blood was coming out from everywhere. Na damu ilikuwe na toka kutokia kila mahali. That was the hardest to, to, to conduct the burial. Na huo ndi ilikuwa masishi ambao ni ngumu sana. The mother on the casket. Mama. A beautiful son, I'm Eko Hapa, right next to her. 
And let me tell you, monitoring spirits are all over. And it's important you know that social media is not a place where you share what you're doing. It is a place to tell the world it is done. And if you share something like a meeting the way we share, there must be correspondence Responding warfare. You fight it. You declare. No monitoring spirit. That is going to bring war. At the border of success of this meeting. No monitoring spirit. Will ensure the gates are closed and yet the doors are open. And no aborted deals. That are going to happen. Some of you were it not for your information that was shared to the wrong people. You know, your good news that was given to the wrong people. You would be very far. You would be established. May the Lord, like that brother, restore to you double in Jesus' name. Amen. Can I hear us say amen? Amen. Double fortunes. Bahati Maradufu in the name of the Lord. Katika jina la Yesu. Double breakthroughs in the name of Jesus. Upenyo Maradufu kwa jina la Yesu. When your information is shared to the wrong people, you will experience this thing I'm calling number four, shifting allocation, but the reality does not change. You think that your town is a major issue. You go to Eldoret. You go to Mombasa. It is still who follows you. It is not about your location. It is about what is monitoring you. Today, church, Leo can I hear us say amen as I make these declarations? Amen. That all demonic raiders amen. that are following what you are doing, mm -hmm. may they be destroyed by fire in Jesus' name. Amen. The friends that are around you and relatives, that are watching what you are doing and sharing it to the wrong people. May the Lord remove them in Jesus' name. Amen. I decree by the word of God mm -hmm. that even the animals, because monitoring spirits can also be animals, you keep on finding snakes, serpents, and rats, and all this in the house. May that warfare come to an end in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Monitoring spirits. When demonic cameras are focusing on you. Number five. There is a sudden disappearance of your destiny stars. Sudden disappearance of destiny stars. I declare you a star will not disappear. Can I stand with you near here and declare your financial star shall not disappear in Jesus' name. Can I hear us say a better amen? Amen. Your academic star shall not disappear in Jesus' name. Oh, can I hear us say amen? Amen. It is wrong for a man who is on top there to be a beggar a few years later that there is no even ability to put food on the table your star is being restored back in the name of the Lord Amen and where monitoring spirits are number six Maroho you always form a party in your mind without the object of celebration. 
kila wakati utakuwa na sherehe katika meza yako na hakuna kitu halisi cha kusherehekea because you are almost celebrating the deal kwa sababu kila wakati karibu unasherehekea ile swala and you are beginning to dance around the business deal na unaanza kucheza na kufurahia pale katika swala la kibiashara you are celebrating your marriage unasherehekea ndoa yako because you can see the brother is responding well kwa sababu unaweza kuona ndugu anajibu vizuri but because of this thing that i'm talking about here lakini kwa sababu ya jambo hili ambalo naongea kuhusu you have a party in your mind ya kwamba unasherehe kwenye mawazo yako but you don't know the enemy already took away lakini haujui ya kwamba adui tayari yashachukua the object of celebration kile kitu ambacho ndio nia na swala la kusherehekea i declare ninatangaza this is for prophetic people amen if you are religious i know it akupita tu mm-hmm. i declare your object of celebration will not be taken away amen can i hear you say amen amen and this is a reality everywhere na hu ndio ukweli na jambo liloko kila mahali people are throwing parties in their mind watu wanaweka sherehe kwenye mawazo yao but the enemy has already pulled the carpet under their feet lakini adui tayari amekwisha ngoa mkeka kwenye miguu yao i decree by the word of god natangaza kwa neno la mungu those who are saying wale ambao wanasema take note ya kwamba na ujue david daudi in rama yuko rama in nayoth kule naothi for sharing your good information with the wrong people wale ambao wanapeana habari zako nzuri kwa watu wabaya i declare natangaza they will not withdraw the object of your celebration hawataondoa can i hear you say a better amen amen a good amen amen another good amen amen When I grew up, nilipokuwa when I was growing up, we used to have fundraisers in the village every semester break. Tulikuwa na ile michango kule kwenye kijiji kila wakati. Of one man, kwa mtu mmoja who had the opportunity of studying to be a pilot. Ambaye alipata fursa ya kusoma kuwa rubani. And sure enough he went on well. Na akaendelea vizuri. But I was concerned even when I was growing as a boy. Kwani anasomea nini? Mm. There is always a hema kwao at the end of every semester. Mm. But this is what happened. He graduated. Aliweza kuhitimu and he he put on the pilot piloting hours na aka, that in, were needed. Na akajipeana kwa yale masaa ambayo alihitajika ya kurubani. And within the course of time he was flying from Nairobi to Europe. Na kwa kipindi kidogo alikuwa anapaa kutoka Nairobi kwenda Europe. Right from Kaifafu village. Kutoka pale Kaifafu village. From JKA to Europe and back. Anatoka JKA yeye anaenda Europa na anarudi. The day that man leo huyo mtu is running a struggling academy in that village. Anaendesha shule ambayo ni ya kungangana katika kijiji kile. Monitoring spirits. Maroho yanayochunguza. I hear somebody put cocaine in his pilot bag, the one they run with to the plane. Nalisikia mtu aliweka madawa ya kulevya kwenye mfuko wake. And when it was being screened, na ilipokuwa inachunguzwa, it was the end of his flying. Yeye ndio ilikuwa mwisho wake wa kupaa. And not only the end of his flying, na sio mwisho wa kupaa, it was the end of him even flying as a passenger, leave alone a pilot. Ilikuwa mwisho wake wa kupaa akiwa kama msafiri, wacha rubani. And then we are we are we are just saying a struggling in men here when I make a declaration. Na tuna I, I declare, let me hear this. Mm-hmm. I declare the object of your celebration will not be removed away from you. Amen. It will be there. Yes. It will be there. Amen. It will be there. Yes. A sister called me another day. Dada akanipigia simu wakati moja. I knew it was down a day. Nilijua ni siku ya kulipa mahali. Pastor. Mchungaji. It is 3 p.m. Ni saa 9. He's not picking the call. Hachukui simu. And we are waiting. Na tunamngoja. Pastor. Mchungaji. It is 4 p.m. Ni saa 10. It is 5:00. Imefika saa 11. The tent is still packed. Yile he's not picking bado. calls. Bado hachukui simu. His his friends are not picking calls. Marafiki zake hawachukui simu. And then 600. Tena shara ikafika. He is not is nowhere to be found. Hapatikani. 6 something. 
Call his parents, that is what I told the girl. And the father said, We don't know there is a dowry. He was actually here two hours ago in the house. And we took tea. And he has left. 6:45. She is crying on phone. I asked her, Is there a pastor in that tent? I told her yes. She, is, no, she said yes. I told her give him the phone. I told him, Pastor, when things go to that level, just preach a good message. Bless everybody. And uh, just let everybody go home. And later, I was able to meet this gentleman. And the excuses shows that he was taking advantage of this young lady. I want to declare the party will be there and the object of celebration will also be there. Can I hear you say amen? amen? I'm still counseling that lady until today. She's, she's she says, Doa X. Monitoring spirits, Maroho Ambayo Yanachunguza, they make you number six. Yana Kusababisha Jambola Saba, number seven to have clouds with no rain. Yana Kusababisha Ue Nama Wing Wambayo Hayanam Vua. I want to declare, Nina Taka Kutangaza, your clouds will have rain in Jesus' name. Yakwamba Mawing, we are Kwako Yatakuanam Vua. Can I hear us say amen? Please get Kisema Mina. How many of us have seen dark clouds? Until people in the village, they removed the clothes from the line, they removed the maize from the place they're drying, they are running up and down, and one hour later, no rain came down. They are told it rained in Nairobi. It was not meant for thicker. Mm -hmm. I declare your clouds will deliver your rain in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, sometimes I wish I'm the one seated there. I'll be saying amen. I will be saying the greatest hallelujah. Amen. Why? Why? These are the things that are causing the counseling queue in the office. And I want to go through them one by one. As we move out of that point and go to number five. I decree number one. There shall not be war at the border of your success. Amen. Can you picture that? Mm -hmm. Can somebody say war? War. Can you see the war at the border mm -hmm. of success? success. Mm -hmm. I declare by the word of the Lord, you shall have both open doors and open gates in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey. How many of us have sensed a breakthrough? Unajua kweri mlango umefunguliwa, lakini lango linaka nimekazo. Declare, I will have both of them. I will have both of them. Number three, I declare your promises will not be aborted in Jesus' name. Amen. Number four, I declare that you will be blessed in your location like God blessed Isaac in Geral in Jesus' name. Amen. The Bible says, and the man began to prosper, continued to prosper until he became very prosperous. Mm -hmm. A struggling man in Kiambu will still struggle in New York. Bado atakuwa anangangana kule New York. I meet them in America. Nakutana na wao nikienda Marekani. 15 years down the line. Miaka 15. Unbelievable struggle. Mambo ama mngangano ambao hauaminiki. A struggling man in Machakos. Mtu ambaye anangangana na maisha Machakos. Was still struggle in London. Bado atangangana akienda London. May the Lord give you victory in Jesus name. Amen. I declare your party and your object of celebration, both of them will be there. Yes. And I declare your clouds are going to be or to have the rain that you need in Jesus' name. Amen. Somebody say amen. Amen. So now we have run our voices. Can you run yours now? Can you lift up your hand? 
and declare in Jesus' name, in Jesus name I, announce my freedom I announce my freedom from any monitoring spirit, from any monitoring spirit in the name of Jesus. Whether in the form of relatives, whether in form of relatives or, friends, or friends or animals, or animals that, are sent, that are normally sent, I declare I, declare, I, cannot, be I cannot be monitored. May they see darkness, they, they see darkness when, they try to zoom on me. when they try to zoom on me. In the name of Jesus, name of Jesus. I, am covered I am covered and preserved, and preserved. In, Jesus name. in Jesus' name. Can we say amen? Amen. Oh, that is awesome. Now, let's handle the last one, the last uh, 15 minutes, and that is poison in the pot. Sumu katika nyungu. Second Kings 4:38. And Elisha returned to Gilgal, and there was famine in the land. Now the sons of the prophets were sitting before him, and he said to his servant, "Put on the large, uh, put on the large pot, and pour still for the sons of the prophets." Verse 39. So one went out into the field to gather herbs, and found a wild vine and gathered from it a lap full of wild goats. And came and sliced them in the pot of stew, though they did not know what they were. 40. Then they served it to the men to eat. Now it happened as they were eating the stew that they cried out and said, Man of God, there is death in the pot. And they could not eat it. The beauty is that in the next verse, some flour was brought, put in the pot, and the poison was healed. May God remove any dead in your pot in Jesus' name. Amen. Briefly, Kwa kifupi, poison in the pot refers to the forces sumu katika nyungu inangazia misukumo that use those who are close to you to poison your deals. Ambayo inatumiwa kwa wale ambao wakaribu na webe kusambaratisha shukuli zako. It is very similar to the monitoring spirits. Inafanana na maroho ya kuchunguza. Death in the pot. Kifo katika nyungu. They were cooking stew. Walikuwa wanapika kitoweo. And one of them went out there. Na moja wawa katoka kwenda kule nje. And gathered a poisonous herb. Ak and dropped it in the same pot. Look at an amazing God. And the steel boiled until it was ready for serving. You think it doesn't happen? Ministering at the border of Congo and Rwanda one day myself. As we were winding up the service, a pastor came and he told me, akaniambia, Pastor, pray for me and my wife. And I asked him what. Nini. He said, We just began giving birth again. Akasema, meanza kujifungua tena. I wondered what happened. And the story, to cut the long story short, Na ili kufupisha habari, he says that they left yams boiling. As they came to church. Akasema waliwata mihogo ikichamuka walipokuwa kija kanisani. And the church and this house, they are, he lives in the church compound. Na anaishi katika compound ya kanisa. And after the service, na baada ya ibada, he went home. Akaenda nyumbani. They served the stew. Waka pakuwa kile kitoweo. After that, Bade hayo, they were all unconscious. Wote wakawa hawajisiki. Somebody came and dropped poison when they were in the service. Mtu walikuja katumbukiza sumu walipokuwa kwenye That is how three of his daughters died. Hivyo ndivyo mabinti wao watatu walifariki. And that is why he was saying we are beginning to give birth again. Na ndio maana alikuwa anasema tunaanza kuzaa tena. I wept. Nikalia don't think everyone around you is your friend. I declare God shall expose anyone that is carrying a poisonous herb. Amen. Can I hear you say amen? Amen. Do you 
know this girl you are dating? Unajua huyu binti ambaye unachumbia? Anakupatia maneno. At the end of it all the brother becomes cold. May that poison in the pot lose its power in Jesus name. Amen. Do you know the person you are employing? Unajua yule mtu ambaye unaajiri? Do you know her? Unamjua vizuri. Do you know him? Unamjua vizuri. It is not about CV. Sio kuhusu CV. It is about this and this and this and this. Ni kuhusu haya na haya na yale mengine. Finally, na kidogo, they don't respond to you again. Hawakujibu tena. We bind the spirit of death in the pot in Jesus name. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. So we prayed with that pastor. And you could see the tears. You could see the brokenness. He said the barriers happened all of them three on the same day. And they were brought from the hospital because they were unconscious with the wife for nine days. Na walikuwa hawajiwezi kwenye hospitali kwa siku tisa. And after that they were brought to the barrio and back to the hospital. Na wakaletwa kwenye mazishi na wakarudishwa kwenye hospitali. I want to declare wapendwa. Nataka kutangaza. Your business. Biashara yako. Your job. Kazi yako. Your career. Your investment. Everything that you do. Chochote. May God defeat the bitter and the poisonous herb in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Some of you all was well. All was well. Until a poisonous herb was thrown inside. Mm -hmm. The Lord shall defend you in Jesus' name. Amen. In closing, Katika hali ya kufunga, those who are walking under poison in the port, they experience termination of contracts without explanation wao kupitia kufutiliwa mbali kwa kandarasi bila wao kujua it's cut off unakuta imefutiliwa mbali no explanation hakuna hata kuelezewa i declare yours will not be terminated in jesus name amen hey can we say amen amen those who are walking under this wanapotembea wanaotembea chini ya hii hurry up a little bit number 2 they experience broken relationships with no explanation wow kupitia uhusiano ambazo zinavunjika bila hata kuelezewa if they don't explain wasipoelezea no they know something jua ya kwamba kuna kitu ambacho wanajua haujui but the big question is lakini swali kubwa ni what they know is it the truth or a lie je kile ambacho wanachojua ni kweli ama ni uongo tell your neighbor if they don't talk if they don't talk they know something they know something May God erase that in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Those who undergo poison under the pot, they get warning letters that are baseless. They are warned and the letters are baseless. I declare, Amen. God will God will send peace, declare peace in that business in Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Those that walk under poison under the board, they are in consistent accusations. So and so did this, so and so did the other. And they begin to punish you for nothing. May that be erased in the name of Jesus. Amen. Oh, may the Lord give you supernatural defense. Amen. In the name of the Lord. Amen. Number four. They are inconsistent. They are okay. They experience broken promises without notice. Kila wakati wanapitia ahadi ambazo hasikamiliki yama kuafikiana. Broken promises without notice. Ahadi ambazo zinafunjika tu. Somebody tells you. Mtu anakuambia. I will educate you. Nita kusomesha. They keep quiet. Wananyamaza. I'm going to talk to the MD. Nita ongea na MD. They keep quiet. Wananyamaza. I'm going to do this, they keep quiet. May they remember you in Jesus' name. Amen. Lastly, Mwisho. those that walk under death in the port, Wale chini ya sumu nyungu, they always experience disappointing turn-offs. Kila wakati, matokeo inakuwa ni ya kufunja moyo. They are turned off. Kila wakati wanazimwa 
in a disappointing way katika hali ya kushusha moyo and i pray in jesus name naomba kwa jina la yesu that the lord will give you favor with him ya kwamba mungu atakupa kibali and favor with men in jesus name na kibali kwa watu kwa jina la yesu you know when 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 i didn't know these are the forces fighting me early in ministry wakati sikuwa najua kwamba hizo hizo misukumo ambazo zinanipinga katika huduma people used to promise a lot of things watu waliishi kuahidia mambo mengi but then at the end of it all lakini hatimaye kwa yote nothing becomes a reality hakuna kitu kilikuwa wazi and i pray today na ninaomba leo that every monitoring spirit ya kwamba kila roho anayekuchunguza will lose its power in jesus name amen 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 If you want to know what I talk about monitoring spirits, ukitaka kujua nini inamaanisha ninapoongea kuhusu roho anayechunguza, just know how planes are detected from the radar. Jua vile ambavyo mahala panaweza ku How planes are detected from the radar in the airport and they know a certain plane has come in, it is on this attitude, it is on this speed. Then and, and then they are told no you cannot stay there, come down, you may collide with another. You cannot keep that speed. You have to keep pushing further because there is another one behind you and you may not see it. May every demonic raider lose its power in Jesus name. Amen. I have taught what is called revelation. Those who did not get it in a revelational way. Wale ambao hamjaipata katika njia ya kiufunuo You find the cycle still repeating itself. Utakuta ya kwamba ile misururu inajirudia tena. But I want to wrap up the five now. Lakini nataka kufunga yote tano pamoja. With a prayer. Katika ombi. And we call it a Sunday service. Na tuiite ibada ya Jumapili. In Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Can somebody say amen? Amen. Wow, what a glorious service. Let's give the Lord a good hand of praise. Tumpatie Bwana makofi ya sifa. A good hand of praise. Makofi ya sifa. Let's stand in Jesus Name. Amen. Tuinuke kwa jina la Yesu. Amen. Amen. And I want you to take a minute or two. Na nataka uchukue dakika moja ama mbili. And these are the prayers I always say don't swallow your words. Na haya ndio maombi ambayo mimi husema usimeze maneno. Don't pray like this. Shh, 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 shh. Yeah, let your words come forth. Maneno yako ya Take two minutes, lift up your right hand and rebuke every monitoring spirit and any death in your port in the name of Jesus. Rebuke them, rebuke them, rebuke them, rebuke them in the mighty name of Jesus. We are winding up and we are declaring that victory is ours in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Yes, victory, victory, victory is ours. Victory belongs to our families. Victory belongs to our jobs. Victory belongs to our careers. In the name of Jesus. Oh, repose Sunday. In the mighty name of Jesus. Blessed be your name, Jehovah. Oh, rekato zianda. Mareta baba baba shanderi baba baba sanda. Yes, Lord. We pray God for victory. Yes, everything you have given to us as a children, businesses, or jobs, or careers. In the name of Jesus, we pray that everlasting God and Father, that your presence is going to defend us. Hide us in Christ. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And let there be victory. Oh God, in the monetary power. Let it lose your people today as we wipe up the service and let your glory, Jesus appear upon us. Our businesses, our jobs, our careers, our finances, our marriages, our health, our sons, our daughters, our projects. Lord, let them be hidden under the power of the anointing. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God. Oh Jesus, let there be protection and let there be preservation by the power and by the anointing of the Holy Spirit. We thank you, our God. We give you praise, our Father, in the mighty name of Jesus. Want you to join the heart of the neighbor near you? Don't block don't block the aisle but 
just the hand of the neighbor near you in Jesus mighty name and lift up those hands unto the Lord you know one time the Lord spoke to me and told me remind the church that the day's power used to hit them wherever, from wherever they are from the pulpit they are coming back to the church and you need to believe the power of God will get you wherever you are in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our God and our gracious Father in Jesus mighty name yes I want to thank you for the Rema word about the forces that we need to deal with as it now regarding our next level I seal it up God for these members and friends that are in the service of oh God and those that are watching us online our father in the mighty name of Jesus Christ our God and our father I take authority and power over every yoke of the enemy I command every yoke to be broken now in the name of Jesus I command every stronghold to be broken now in the name of Jesus I command every monitoring spirit to lose its power in the name of the Lord anyone who has been hunted anyone who has been tracked I declare the blood of Jesus it will cover you and father I pray for wisdom on social media in the name of Jesus Christ I pray that you help every of your child to know what should be on that platform thank you our God I take authority and power Lord over death in the port in the name of the Lord every information that has gone out there and it never needed to be in the hands of the enemies we withdrew it back in the name of Jesus and I declare by the word of the Lord that you are protected not only this one's Lord but even those ones that are of us and they have traveled and they are not together with us our sons and daughters that are not here our parents our brothers and sisters our projects and our businesses may there be divine and supernatural covering by the power and by the anointing of the Holy Spirit in Jesus name and all of us say amen, amen. another amen. amen another amen. amen let's give the Lord a glorious hand a glorious hand amen those of you watching us online the lord bless you the lord cover you i pray for you that the lord is going to minister to you by his grace by his spirit and by his anointing may you be healed delivered and set free in jesus name and the entire church says amen 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 and amen, amen. let's let's give the lord a good hand with the lifted hands Lifted hands, lifted hands, lifted hands.